All right. Back. Uh, crap, I lost my entire opening line. Oh, well. Oh, well, this is a Mass Effect. After Mass Effect? Of poor oh. economic performance, Exogeny has announced that its research colony on Pharos is finally <coughs> returning a profit. New discoveries and a dedicated colonization effort have finally paid off for Exogeny. Exogeny's stock rose sharply with the announcement, with investors pleased at this surprising news. Yeah, I'm sure. You're welcome. Motherfuckers. Anyway, I'm Fluff. I mean, I'm that. I'm Brent. Keep trying, you'll figure out who you are in a bit eventually. Look, I have... I am known by many names. You may call me... Box. Sorry. Commander, <laughs> to References to abound. I've got an idea, and I wanted to run it by you. Oh, my. I've got a lot going on right now, but I can spare a moment. Great. This will just take a minute. With so many human colonies being attacked, I'm not sure that one specter is enough. What if you signed me on as another specter? Uh, I, I don't think that's a good idea. But I'd make a great specter. I'd be right there with you, showing the council what humanity is capable what of. What a fucking idiot. I want to be with you, fighting the good fight like you did on Elysium during the Skillian Blitz. I believe you, Conrad. But there's another fight that needs you. What? I, I don't understand. You know what keeps me going out here? Knowing that people back home are keeping humanity strong. You... You're right. I just got so caught up in all of it. I wanted to help. I'll go home. Thanks for setting me straight. Well... Disappointed. It's over though. Yeah. At least we caught the idiot in the act. Yeah. I think you're the one who sells the yes, human. stuff. You need something, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Iconic armors. Oh. <laughs> That's quite a few of them. Yep. I guess they do need three weights for medium, most of them. Medium armor human. Slightly less shields, but better tech biotic and damage protection. Well, ever so slightly. Hmm. Meh. I'm more curious. It's not. Corian. It's not better. No. Onyx for Corian. That's actually hmm. something I want to see. Hmm. Heavier. Light armor for human Jorman gun technologies. That's one I haven't heard before. Hmm. Good night, though. Uh, that's all I really, really need. Sell some I more think shit. That's actually also a I won't be surprised. Jorman gun is definitely a mythological reference. Yep. I don't remember if it was for the first or second game, but eh, we'll get to it. That's also an anime I keep meaning to go watch. Jomungan? Uh, Jomungan, yeah. Mm, sounds familiar. Oh well. There's, I feel like there's something else I needed to do here, but I can't remember what it was. Probably. There's always more shit to do. Uh. That's nothing important. That's nothing important. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna need to talk to this guy. Oh, yeah. That dude. Where the fuck is he? In the wards. Uh, feel like. It's it just after the presidium, right? Hmm. You know, I wish I hadn't closed that map of uh, the keepers because it also showed where he was. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the description said he was just off the precision. 
Yeah, but where just have to wait, that gives me an idea. Here? Let me in! Let me in! Alliance officials report that a Geth incursion into the Armstrong cluster has been repulsed, with the Geth suffering heavy casualties. You're welcome. <laughs> in the event of future Geth activity, <laughs> the Alliance plans to maintain a strong security <laughs> presence in the area. You are fucking welcome. Let's do it. Yeah, this is it. There's a poor bastard. Hey, back again, huh? I don't suppose you got any credits to spare. I heard you were at Mindoir. I wanted to talk about what you saw. Why? You think you got something profound to say about it? People tied like prize hogs, locked in cages, clawing and screaming as they're loaded into cargo pods. And we couldn't reach them. The Batarian defenses had us pinned. Dozens died trying to advance. All we could do was watch as they hauled people away. I've been looking for 13 years for something to make that sight go away. What have you got, huh? I'm not going to give you money to drink yourself to death. You need to stop this. If you don't have a better option, just give me 20 credits. A good bottle of whiskey. Enough to stop the dreams. My mother said to go to the Veterans Affairs Office. You're not the only one who's seen that brand of hell. They can help. The VA? Oh, God. <sighs> All right. If she wants me to go talk to someone, fine, I'll do it. For her. She always stuck up for me. <laughs> she always was naive. All the VAO does is pump you full of chemicals. If she wants to talk, tell her she can reach me through the Citadel VAO. I mean, it's not like drinking's any different than pumping yourself full of chemicals. Yeah. At least, at least one includes a person that actually measures them for you. Yeah. <sighs> Poor bastard. I'd love to see what the Normandy can do. Yeah. The Normandy isn't built for a stand-up fight. I'd rather rely on the IES than the shields. But the stealth drive adds a new tactical level to space combat as we know it. Surprise attacks, undetected flanking maneuvers. It's not wrong in that. Yeah. Yeah? You got a point. Of course, but you actually detect that it's kind of an issue, so you have to make sure you're only going one-on-one. -on -one. Well, you know. I mean, if you vanish from their sensors in the middle of the fight, that's enough to give them cause for alarm. Yeah, that's all. Uh, Does that count as finishing it? Yeah. So that's done. Of course, they also say you're not ex you're not actually invisible, so they can still see. Yes, but at ac optimal right. ranges, you're not gonna Rock. see another ship. Yeah, I just remember what they. <laughs> Combat range is that in this yeah. game. Codex sense. mentions knife fight range is mere kilometers. If you're close enough to actually see the enemy ship, you're not at knife fight range. You're at boarding party range. Yes. Which does in fact... Uh, uh, bring up what Guerra said that... Uh, oh yeah, we could probably shoot from way closer than that before being seen. Major Kyle mm -hmm. surrendered and is now being treated for severe post-traumatic stress disorder. Hmm. Which, you know, could probably help with things like Amy. Yeah, you know, just maybe. Dunk, 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 dunk. Nice little side trip. Yeah. Still, I do kind of wonder just how much foreshadowing that line was. Decontamination Which line? What can we say about the uh, Normandy in combat? Eh? The fuck? Welp. <laughs> okay! Technical difficulties kicked us right back here.
Yeah. Uh, okay, this okay. This would even lose too much progress. Yeah, yeah, it's around the corner. Raided a dangerous cult controlled by a former Alliance officer, Major Kyle. Major Kyle surrendered and is now being treated for severe post traumatic stress disorder. Oh, uh, yeah, didn't we convince that guy to stop? But yeah. why? Yeah. You know? It's just we haven't been back to the Citadel in a while. That's a bit of an understatement. <coughs> since they can only give one new spare elevator. Step right? by shore party. Decontamination in progress. There we go. Hey, we're actually in. Commanding officer is aboard. Exo so Presley is relieved. Good to know that the contamination involves disintegrating your armor. <laughs> uh, it obviously doesn't. I know, it just amuses me because it's like... Like, you don't really change rooms or... Yeah. Or have an enemy or anything. No, just after the team finishes passing over you, your armor's gone. Speaking of Kaden. There is thoughts okay, are. Then. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get We're us all in. in for the duration. You can count on everyone to do their duty. What's your opinion on the lab? I'm glad there aren't many aliens like the Thorian. I don't think my stomach could take it. Out of a deal you worked out with John, though. <laughs> if I ever get a speeding ticket, I want you to be my advocate. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? They will say what get I will get huh? I mean, yeah. I just want to get Caden's opinion. I'm trying to, uh, I kind of ignore him in all my playthroughs. Because most of the time I'm romancing Ashley, so I kind of just ignore him. You know, of the two squad mates you spend the most time with. I'm trying to make it up. Meanwhile, here, just trying to spend more time with Rex. <laughs> Pretty much everyone has got those two. Yeah, well. I spent a lot of time with all the others except him. Fair enough. I think this is where we need to go for. No, no, wrong one. Voyager cluster. Where is Voyager cluster? It's over here. Maybe now it'll actually. Pop up. It might have something to do with the with the Mass Effect Recalibrated mod I've installed. That's done a lot of quality of life. Yeah, imagine it's game without some quality of life. Uh, like this mission only popped up a lot earlier, but since it has both Rachni and uh, Thorian Creepers in it, I guess it's kind of like message for you, Commander. Spoiler Just came in over the mission. Shepard? Yep. This is Admiral Goku. I found out who set that trap for my men. The ones killed by the Thresher War. Damn, I hope you get this message. It was a group called Cerberus. An Alliance Black Ops organization. Top secret, highest level security clearance. They vanished a few months ago. Dropped right off the grid. Nobody knew where they went or what they were up to. They've gone completely rogue, Shepard. They're conducting illegal genetic experiments trying to create some kind of super soldier. I don't have any proof, but I found the coordinates for one of their research worlds. I'm uploading them with this message. They're completely out of control. Somebody needs to stop them. I've done my part. Now it's up to you. This is... This is probably the last you'll hear from me. Cerberus is after me now. I need to disappear before they find me. Well, shit. Yep. Like, when, a uh... When a big name officer like that is, I need to disappear. You know, thing, things are getting real. Yep. Don't forget, Cerberus was getting was getting some of those Thorian creepers. Mm -hmm. What do they want them for? I don't remember them being mentioned in the right planet. No. But if you're gonna go, if you're gonna go the illegal, illegal experiment route, you may as well go all the way. Yeah. 
Well, he was thinking maybe there was some data we missed or something. I mean, it's plausible, but I don't think so. I mean, there were quite a few NPCs who might not have gotten every single converse, conversation from me. True, especially with that unpleasant surprise we had. <coughs> yeah. That's never fucking happened to me before, at least not to my memory. Yeah, I guess. I mean, you do have a tendency to replay games and just keep doing the exact same role every time. I mean, yeah. When I replay games, it's not to try different things half the time, it's because I just enjoy it. So I feel no reason to try different things. Yeah. Well, that's just one of the reasons why, why I've been actually trying to tell you to do some things in certain ways. What a bit of a change. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's been interesting. Yeah. I like it when both of us are experiencing it every so often. Yeah, Dorian Creepers over there. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's kind of why I installed the mod in New Vegas mm -hmm. that you basically knew nothing about. Let's let them out of their cage. It's like letting the lost out. Equal opportunity target. Still come the wandering. Chill out, Kaden. <laughs> Still come the wandering. How did they expect to make some kind of super soldier in with with creepers? Who knows? Maybe they were testing its resilience or something. They do take an awful lot of grounds for being literally armored, uh, unarmored. Yeah, I guess that is. A good point. A normal unarmored human would not take, um, it would die in one shot. Yeah. Like, let's be honest. They'd be the right D -E -D 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 dead. That much yours. It would annihilate humans. <laughs> yeah, this, this, this rifle's tearing through anti, uh, through, tearing through spider tanks. Yeah, a I, squishy I wet would not last weapon. long. Mm, Uh, okay, there's other faces on the planet. You weren't reading very, very much on that, were you? No, my memory is not serving me well. Oh well, need to get Tally out so I can change her armor. Yeah, that's one way to do it. Listen, it's all part of the plan. Alright, it was an armor that you got from... Yeah. Yeah, we haven't found exactly a lot hey! of <laughs> Yeah, that's quite the improvement. That's not the one I bought for her though, is it? No. <laughs> oh well. That's an interesting <coughs> look that's an interesting look for her. Yeah. Oh she's the medic, kinda. No, Caden's still the medic. By by and far. Yeah, I'm just saying she's wearing medic colors. Yeah, I know. Speaking of Kaden, much better. Yeah, that might help. Just a tiny. No great tally zombie tool. That's nah, not really worth it. No great Kaden's though. Kaden's an interesting class. He has biotics and tech. Mm -hmm. And in this game, that class gets the short end of the stick. Hard. Uh, yeah, I can't of imagine as much. Because I don't have any weapon specializations. Yeah, like, you can't really do combat, and you're not particularly good at any of the other things enough for it to be all that powerful. Yeah. So, yeah, I can see how that'd be a. Yeah, an come, issue. To, come to third game, he's taking major levels of badass. Like, he's one of, uh, aside from Shepard himself, I think he's the only character who has Cryoblast. He's a general mage. Much like most general mages in D&D. He's on the late levels when they really get strong. But the funny thing is, he goes from, uh, 
basically just being a red mage, if you will, but for using two different uh, caster types, to basically more being a magic knight. He becomes much more combat focused and much better at the combat. So he just changed classes or more defense? Sort of. I think he, he still got both biotics and tech, but with the improvements they made to the Sentinel class, he's gotten a lot better. So by the third game, he takes he has taken serious levels of badass. Not to say Ash has gotten any worse. Let's just leave them in their cage. So I, I guess the the main thing I will compare this one is just ow. Just that you know, you could basically justify this entire game as the early levels. <laughs> Pretty much. That fucking grenade in midair. Being a super soldier involves having claws. Involves having what? Claws. Claws? You know, fragment. Oh. The experimenting on Dragon to have to make super soldiers. I wonder what Cerberus horrors will find at the next base. Good question, let's find out. I mean, we already went to the creepers and the red, and it was nice. Boat? Hybrid? Hmm. Scary thought. Gun depression really sucks. It's because it's yeah. it's because it's so far hull forward, uh, hull, not hull, hull centered, mm -hmm. and has such a short barrel. Well, no, the barrel length doesn't really affect it. It's just his positioning is really fucking bad. Well, that's yeah. interesting. Probably more effective if he had like a. I don't know, like a turret just things slightly forward so it could aim a bit further down. Yeah, if the turret was positioned a little a little more hull forward, it would be a bit better. Yeah, there's that too. I mean like if it had like a bit of a platform so it could also aim a bit more up and down. If it was elevated? Yeah. That would help too. It's from what, from what I can tell, the main issue is that it basically has no vertical mobility. Pretty much. That's a bit of a bigger Ragni, I think. Yeah, that's a bigger one. Sound of gunfire. <laughs> you think? Yeah, you know. 
Well, he's dead. Despite the ferocity of the creature he was sealed in with, there's no sign of trauma on his corpse. The needle mark on his arm suggests a different mean of execution. If there was any way to just go to this one first, then <laughs> it's no, no. Yeah, guess it's not that open. Not quite New Vegas. <laughs> okay, now it's like, now it's on a different planet. I guess nothing's really quite New Vegas. It's difficult <laughs> to achieve that level of yeah. Adaptability, I guess. First things first, what's this? Hmm, good question. Recovery artifact, yes, the entire pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> On the Prothean data disk. Hmm. Back to Normandy. If only you could just lift up the <laughs> This is mine now. Channel my inner blood raven. <laughs> okay, so still in the Voyager cluster. Yeah, it's over here. Hades dogs. Hades dogs. Oh, dogs. Yep. Cerberus, so yeah. Yep, makes sense. This combination seems a little mean. Just Caden yanks someone through the air and then Tally shotgun. <laughs> hmm. Just having Caden or Liara on the team is just unfair. Yeah, why do you think I like bringing them? Of course, it's all fun and games until there's a biotic on the other team. <coughs> yeah, there's that too. Gets stun locked to death. Look, a wise man once said, if you're fighting a fair fight, Attack your tactics suck. suck. Yep. Never start a fair fight. Hey bastards! Knock knock! <laughs> Later! I think his people needed him. <laughs> this is the part where you hear someone shout, Pull! I guess he finally landed. <laughs> yeah. That was hilarious. I see you trying to start going after him. Yeah, and I, was like, I was like, I see you got him on I'll take this. No! They wasted no time getting chatty.
Maybe someday if I can ever stop my using Origin, I might try playing in a very different way for you. <laughs> because let's be honest, any play any way I would play would be much much different from yours. Probably. I mean, it would either be L or Drakey. Okay, it would either be sneaky snipey, or it would be screaming at the gate and suing them for copyright infringement. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> you cautiously press a few buttons and an alarm chimes. The optical database is flashing itself. <clears throat> Quickly, you copy as many files as you can to your hard suit's internal computer. It's memory wiped, the computer shuts down. The files are sure to be encrypted, but now you've got time to crack them. Yeah. Clear. And um, yeah, Hades dogs complete. Yeah, yeah like, like when we when we saw the uh, the docking method of the game. Yeah. Ricky was kind of asking, it's like, hey, that's my idea. <laughs> Look, I have many, many voices in my head, don't worry. Jaden, are you having trouble there, buddy? Pathfinding in the first game, not the best in the world. So I've noticed. Transmission coming in, Commander. I think you're going to want to hear this one. Greetings, Commander Shepard. I represent a party interested in obtaining information on Cerberus activities. Who are you and who do you represent? Who I am is inconsequential. Suffice to say, I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. Oh. See, Admiral Kahoku contacted my employer looking for information on the location of any Cerberus facilities. We provided that information on the promise that he would turn over copies of all files gathered from the Cerberus systems to us. Did you have anything to do with Admiral Kohoku ending up dead? We had no reason to harm him. He was going to provide us with information about Cerberus. Information that is now in your possession. You must have some connection to Cerberus. How else could you tell Kohoku where to find them? Information is our business, Commander. Through our contacts, we were able to determine that the Cerberus group was active in the Voyager cluster. Unfortunately, that was all we were able to find out. That is why we are so interested in acquiring copies of the files from you. These are classified Alliance files. I'm not handing them over to you. Be reasonable, Commander. Cerberus was operating outside Alliance jurisdiction. We don't owe them any loyalty. The Alliance is just going to file this information away in some archive. No secret stays hidden forever. Eventually, someone somewhere will deliver it to our hands. Might as well be you. Transmit the files to us and you will be well compensated. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. Give it to him? Yeah. Okay. I'll transmit the files. I knew you were a reasonable man, Commander. My employer will remember this the next time you need something from us. Like, there is literally no point in protecting Cerberus at this point. Hmm, fair enough. And let's take time for one more. Local Cluster. Soul. This Ooh, one's going a uh, little close to home. That's putting it lightly. And where does it actually take place? The actual moon, huh? <laughs> On Luna. No, population 4.1 million. Yeah, uh, it's they, been rather populated, I yeah, see. They kind of built up the moon a bit. I mean, it's the closer solar, it's the closest stellar body they have, we have available. Yep. Have to start somewhere. Like, you might as well start.
It's a beautiful view. to shoot me. No. I'm not <laughs> It's a beautiful view. Yeah. Wait, is, 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 I think, no, no, that, no, no, I that, that's, that, no, that's Mexico right there. Good. It's kind of inverted, but that's the, uh, that's the California side of Mexico. There's, okay, and, so, uh, there's Florida, you can see Florida just barely. Right. So yeah, you couldn't actually see me from. No, you'd be way down there somewhere. In the dark side of the earth. Do you even remember what we're here for? No. Uh, the VI that runs the training, uh, uh, simu the training simulations on it, it has gone rogue. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah it, it was kind of wondering about this. Like, we made so many years out of the dark side of the moon, and I thought, well, I wonder what would happen in a situation in which they populate and uh, well, the Western one. <laughs> Would they make of stories and jokes about the dark side of his planet? The fact that that one work bothers me. <laughs> Missile just clipping right through you. Don't question it. Really? <laughs> that one hitting you anyway. <laughs> Angles are bullshit. Weird. Yeah. Why do you think everyone has trigonometry? Oh, they're over there. That's right. I know there's three facilities here. Yeah. So I was wondering where the other ones were. Well, I guess you found them. But there's the yeah, ice fucking everywhere in this area, isn't it? I mean, no. They're all three of them are right there. You can see them. One, two, three. Yeah, and you meant like, are those terrors down there probably also hostile? Oh yeah, absolutely. That, that's what I mean, it's like the, the AI itself is just spread out everywhere. I mean, these are already put here. It's just taking control of them. Yeah, that, that's what I meant. Well, I suppose you have to hit a uh, limit on its distance at some point. <laughs> yeah. There we go. I think you found it. Miscalculated! Dealt with, let's move in. Get ready to see the same base three times in a row in quick succession. Kind of like the last mission, just with robots instead of Cerberus. And let's spread out. Yeah. And this is why I brought the two techies in the squad. Makes sense. 
Oh, hello everyone. Good photo. Then did it show then if we have three takings? Eh, technically. Which reminds me. Uh, your ammo. AP2. Let's fix that. Tungsten. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that might help. Also, Jesus Christ, that assault rifle. <coughs> That's almost as good as mine. There you go, Garrus. Enjoy. Enjoy the Have a rail extension. And Tally's shotgun. Yeah, we're, 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 we're hitting that point in the game. In which everything's super high tier and stuff. Y you think? Maybe. You are. Uh, okay. And this managed to upgrade your sniper. Right? That's what I just did. Okay, I was. Actually, I'm gonna just put a proton yeah. round in it. Minus some damage, but it goes through shields. It's probably useful. But yeah, since you manual so quickly, you didn't manage to catch your change in it. <laughs> <laughs> I do seem to read a little bit faster than you do. Well, well I, I, I could tell you were looking at snipers and that, that, uh, there was a... Uh, Toxic gas uh, is being finished in the Yeah. But there was a strong sniper, stronger sniper. I just... I want you to notice something. Look at the health bars. Steadily mm. decreasing, right? Oh. Uh, Except tallies. Well, yeah. She's got a gas mask. And she has her own full enviro suit. Oh, now it's starting to get. Yeah. She might have been too close to the blast. First of three uh -huh. clusters is offline. Think we got him, Commander. Well, that's the first one, I think. Yep, one of three. Can't wait to just do it all over again. Yeah, I know, right? Is there nope, there is not an EMP pulse grenade. That is disappointing. Hmm. Did somebody say sweet loot? Always. Didn't even bother. I can't be arsed. Yeah, at this right we probably have plenty of money yet anyway. Uh that's not <laughs> where I parked. Well done, Mexico. Heading to position. Negative contact, Commander. Okay, now you're starting to run out of... No, I'm not. Hmm. Kill them all. Oh, that's scary, my bad. <coughs> Listen, I saw movement and opened fire. I know his colors can that match, but he's not robotic or, or is full of lights, I guess. I don't know. He's not glowy. He doesn't have a flashlight head. I think I was smoking just the hell. Now the fact that we have respirators on and are still vulnerable to the toxic gas is kind of silly. I want to try something. Nope, not enough to one-shot it. 
Which was a shot. Magnetic barriers powering up inside the compound. Mm. Not like they matter at all. Second of three down. Yeah. Oh, right, so I'll just shoot my way out of this. Hey, the Mako didn't get drunk while we were away. <laughs> drunk like a rhino? Yeah, handles like one, that's for sure. That's why I asked. Also, I don't know if you noticed, the rock is red, even though the rock on the moon most definitely wouldn't be. Mm. That's how lazy with the level design it was. Copy and paste. Sounds about the Yeah. First game had some way to get through thing or whatever second one is not but Hello! But when it comes to actual gameplay, that happens. How far back does this go? Son of a bitch! What did we learn? Shut up. Two rail extensions, Garrish just packs a hell of a punch. Yeah. How's the time for? Eh, we're pushing it, yeah. Maybe easier to just finish the side quest of Camera then. Uh, okay. And not much else I can do here other than maybe give myself some tungsten rounds. If I have any left. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Tungsten round six. Well, the end dialogue isn't much else. Just screeching and binary wailing on your uh, HUD. Sensor, right? That's literally just a storm of ones and zeros, a static fills your speakers, and then it cuts. So, yeah, uh, that and a dialog box in the middle of the screen. <laughs> and, yeah, that doesn't sound all that interesting. Yeah, and when we come back, it'll be time for DLC, and I think at that point, we'll be ready to push and end the main story. Hey, what do you think there, sort of? So, until next time... Bye.